I'm very much a cheesecake kind of person. Um, <clears throat> the first thing that I'll talk about, and I'll just <coughs> hold one up. So this one um, was a chocolate mousse. Would anyone like, who doesn't know, would like to take a guess of what's actually the base in that? Brandy. Brandy. Okay. <laughs> anyone else besides Brandy? <clears throat> My kids sleep really well when they eat that. <laughs> it's actually avocado, believe it or not. So really easy for the kids to get stuck into that. Super healthy. And so um, it's got some, uh, some nut milk. You can use rice milk if you want. Avocado, like your face is like, how is that possible? <laughs> um, it, has, it has agave, so we use that. Or you could use honey or maple syrup as well. Um, and then, so the, that is, this is the benefit of our blender. It gets things beautifully smooth. Um, and then also raw cacao powder. Now, for most people, when we crave chocolate, it's the dairy milk stuff put with all the fillers and things like that. Um, so let me just read to you, this is, this is the real cacao, the chocolate bean, literally just ground down. No other processing besides that. The, the benefits of this are amazing. You've got 14 times more potent antioxidants than red wine and 21 more times than green tea and seven more times than dark chocolate. Just that in itself, it's high, yeah. Um, so what Anthony's putting into the blender right now, these are the cacao nibs. We'll pass the bag around. So this is actually kind of what the bean is. Um, that's, that's fine. And so this blender comes with two uh, jugs. And this one actually, I can make flour. So I can buy organic wheat or put nuts in there and actually make nut flour or nut meal. Just take the lid off that and pass it around and just get a smell. Like it's absolutely amazing how great it smells. Um, and so it's got protein, calcium, chromium, zinc, iron, magnesium, amazing. But this is the real deal, real deal. So, that's, so the, the mousse has the cacao powder in it, so that raw cacao powder. Um, so good for you and it just smells delicious. So you can get this from your health food stores. Um, sometimes we have some in stock, I don't know if we have any at the moment, but yeah, really easy to get. But you don't want it to be roasted and processed and even um, cocoa powder, that's, that's not good. This is cacao powder, the raw stuff. So um, that was the mousse. Pretty easy, huh? <coughs> and honestly, like, it fools everyone. So what's it got? What are you Avocado, salt, cacao powder. Uh, it's got some uh, honey or agave, so there's just sweetness side to it as well. Um, so yeah, I love that one. You can use that as an icing over a cake, whatever you want. And then I did put a little bit of um, nut milk, or you can use rice milk as well. <clears throat> yeah. But, and yeah, and that was, yeah, and you just have, when, when you add some nice fruit to it, it cuts it up. The second one um, I'll talk about is this one here, which was a, the cheesecake. So the base is macadamias and dates and some coconut. So you just blend that in the food processor until it gets to like a dough-like consistency. The centre part is actually cashews, is the cream. Um, and so it, it obviously was a little bit frozen when it's at room temperature a bit more, it's more of a cheesecake consistency. Um, but that's got lemon juice and some um, agave or honey in that as well to bring the sweetener and just raspberries and dates on top, blend it up. So again, that, is, that fills everyone when, when people have... Um, when people have that cheesecake at our place, they have no idea. And you know, it's just a great way to start moving away from dairy and sugary things. It's just got really whole foods in there, lots of good fats. And also um, the other thing uh, in there in the, in the base, I'm sorry, in the, where the cashew cream is, there's some coconut oil too. <coughs> Excuse me, so that um, had some good fats in there. Last one, this is, I am, yeah. So this one here, I kind of liken it to a bit of a chocolate brownie, chocolate crackle type thing. The base is actually, who's had buckwheat before? <clears throat> yep. So the base has uh, got sultanas, um, some shredded coconuts um, and buckwheat. And what I did with the buckwheat is I soaked it and then I put it in the dehydrator so it got crunchy. And then the top is, again, cashews, cacao, dates, salt, blended up. And you can, you can use that as a nice cream or a mousse as well. Just pop it. it nothing I do, I cook. I, I just do it, chuck it in the freezer, and it's done. So, um, and it's good because you can make a big batch, have it there. So when we do have like a sweet craving, you can just cut off a tiny little bit, 
have it, you're satiated, it's good, the kids love it. And yeah, just, like if you, were, if you started to eat that instead of whatever you normally have, do you feel like you're missing out? It's good, huh? And it's really easy. You can just literally, all you need is a blender and it's done. So there's also some really good raw cookbooks out there as well. Um, one of my favourites, um, I'll pass it around. We can, we're ordering these in. It is on, on your order form. This is like a, a book of 85 raw desserts, which is really yummy. Um, and yeah, but, but really dates and nuts and sultanas and like just that is a fairly strong basis and frozen fruit. So using your frozen bananas, like we'll often just make sorbet. So we'll chuck frozen banana and mango into the blender and it's, you know, within seconds, it's like a nice sorbet. So our kids, that's their ice cream. Mm -hmm.